I am Jay Albritton. I have five children now. Did have four, now I have five. <laughs> Paris is 16, Anna Claire is about to be 15, Seth is 12, and Joel is 10, and Adeline is nine days old right now. We got married when I was 21 and Jay was 25. It's 1994. He kind of freaked me out a little bit because on one of our earliest dates, we went to dinner and he just at dinner said, all right, this is who I am. This is everything I've done in my life, good and bad. Um, I think you're the kind of person I would like to marry. You know, blah, there you go. In retrospect, I'm really grateful for that because there was no wondering, you know, like, does he like me, you know, or any of that. But yeah, we were kind of at different places, so it took me a little longer. And I think part of it scared me too because I had that sense of he, you know, is probably the one. And when you're 19, you're like, yikes. My parents were divorced when I was five. Ironically, <laughs> one of the things that I remember about my dad is him telling me how much, how I needed to honor my mom and treat her kindly and, and uh, like a, a lady. And oh, he would send me, I remember finding some letters uh, that he had written to me and said, here's $10 or whatever, go buy your mom some flowers. And he was trying to instill in me, treat my mom with respect and uh, don't disrespect your mom. I guess that's some part of me whenever I hear my kids, if they show any kind of disrespect, it stirs things up in me. That, well, and that was actually they, one of the things when I first met Jay that stood out to me because my parents had always said, you know, watch how a guy treats his mom, watch his relationship with his mom, because that a lot of times will tell you a lot about how he's going to treat his wife. And I mean, the first, one of the first dates we went on, and hearing him talk about his mom, there was so much admiration and, you know, love for her and his voice. And he even made the comment at one point that I reminded him of his mom, you know, in some ways. And so that really stood out to me. Um, and I think his dad instilled that in him, but then his mom was just a wonderful person anyway. So, um, but that really made a big impression on me. One of the wishes I have for them is that they, they serve God wherever they are, but that they don't leave home not ever wanting to see us again. <laughs> you know, that, that our relationship is so messed up that they just don't, I never want to go back to see my parents. But instead that, that their upbringing would be one that, that they would enjoy revisiting and, and that we could um, just maintain that relationship. Both of us have had began a relationship with Jesus early in our life, so it was always a part of who we are and, and who we were developing to become, or who we were becoming. We, we believe that our that people's faith is at least their introduction to who God is is their um, how they relate to their family to their parents. So we understand. To see our role and with our kids is that we are giving them a picture of who God is and not a perfect picture by any stretch, but we want to help them develop a, a foundation to where when they see, see God that they're seeing someone who's full of grace and mercy. Um, and we're not always, like I said, we're not always a great picture of that, but that's, that's what we see and what we want to develop in our kids so that they see God as a gracious and loving God.